The Ernest F. Holling Scholarship, awarded to successful undergraduate college students by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, provides recipients with a unique experience by being able to complete an internship at a NOAA facility and conduct a research project of their choice during this time. I was awarded the Holling Scholarship in 2019 and completed my research internship over this past summer with the National Weather Service in Bismarck, North Dakota. I researched how National Weather Service offices across the country, including the one here in State College, were using graphics to communicate upcoming winter storms to the public as well as to their core partners through social media and through their website. I took a social science research perspective in order to get feedback from the public, emergency managers, and broadcast meteorologists about what ways of communicating winter storms are the most effective. Social science research is very important, and it's an area that not a ton of work has always necessarily been done on, especially when we're talking about small-scale problems that really do make a big difference in our operations and how we better prepare the public for weather hazards such as winter storms. And so work like Jacob's is really a new frontier in a lot of ways that really ties back social science to what we're doing in the weather service and in the weather enterprise, and that includes our broadcast meteorologist partners, really is critical to help us turn weather information into usable information that the public knows something to what to do with, that they can do something with to better prepare, to keep everyone safe. I found that there are many differences in the ways that National Weather Service offices currently message winter storms in long range, medium range, and short range forecast. So one of the goals of my research was to improve the consistency in the ways that winter storms are messaged across the weather service. Additionally, one of the core parts of my research was focusing on what the best ways are to incorporate uncertainty into winter weather forecasts. So in the past, we've often messaged winter storms is a very deterministic type of thing saying exactly how much snow that you might get but we know that there's inherent uncertainty towards that and so jacob's research really tried looking at ways that we can actually express that uncertainty that we know exists and express in probabilistic framework that folks in the public can understand that winter storm information to help them better prepare the National Weather Service in Bismarck has been using risk probability graphics which show the probability of exceeding a certain amount of snow to communicate uncertainty in snow forecasts. So risk probability graphics, which Jacob looked at in particular with his project, are really an effective way to communicate because they take uncertainty, they take probabilities, and they break them down into a means that the public and the, our partners, such as emergency managers, can really understand, and we know they can, thanks to Jacob's research. Uncertainty can even be present in short-range snow forecasts when snow maps have been released, and another aspect of my research focused on identifying the best ways to communicate this uncertainty. Being able to highlight the areas where it's most um, uncertain. Uh, some of your research found that maybe a dashed line indicating, okay, where there's going to be maybe a strong gradient or maybe where it's like a boom or bust potential. We've done a little bit of that in years past and have had success with that. But I think we're all continuing to try to learn what's going to be most effective to keep people prepared to not overhype a storm coming, but also not to provide stuff that's not scientifically based. So I think we're going to continue to learn and really appreciate the work that you did to uh, kind of understand what the Weather Service has done in the past and how we can best move forward. I was able to share the results from my research with many National Weather Service offices across the country, and several of them have implemented the key findings from my research into their winter weather messaging strategies. So we're definitely using findings from Jacob's research to improve our operations, and ultimately to improve the message that the public receives for winter weather. We've taken a lot of what he's done and implemented it. For example, we know that the first snowfall forecast map that we put out on social media is really the most important one. So we wanna get that one as absolutely right as we absolutely can. We've also expanded or are in the process of expanding our probabilistic type of messaging stream into things beyond just snow into items like freezing rain and blowing snow. And that's directly driven by Jacob's research. The National Weather Service in State College created a new long-range winter weather forecasting product called the Days 4-7 through 7 Winter Weather Outlook based on the findings from my research. 
Using this graphic is going to give us a really nice tool to highlight potential areas that are going to be most susceptible to what we've called plowable snowfall or some sort of significant accumulation of snowfall that could have some impacts. We're going to be able to message and get in the conversation maybe three, four, five, six days out. When winter storms are maybe potentially in the forecast, social media is usually a buzz. And so this gives us an opportunity to get into the conversation while still not necessarily giving an exact forecast because it's just frankly too early. We can at least provide some scientific expertise to say this is a probabilistic explanation of what we think may happen over the course of the next several days. This product has already been put to use this winter and can be found at weather.gov slash state college slash winter. I am continuing to work on my research at Penn State for my senior honors thesis this year as I plan on conducting a survey with the larger sample size of the public. And with the upcoming winter season quickly approaching, I encourage you to check out the ways that your local National Weather Service office communicates winter storms in the coming months and what graphics they choose to use to get their message across. For Weather World, I'm Jacob Morse.